my name is Grace and today I am going to read the Bible story. Today the Bible title is God makes a way the parting of the Red Sea and the Ten Commandments. Yes, today we're going to read this Bible story. Exodus chapter 14 verse and chapter 16 verse 11 to 16 chapter 17 1 to 7 chapter 19 chapter 20 After Paro's sons died the ten plagues he let the Israel leave they were never near the Red Sea when Paro chased, chased his main again, changed his mind again. He chased after them. So, you know that in the tent, bad things happened. Paro let Israel go. And he again changed his mind. And in front of them, there were Red Sea. And behind, there was Israel. I no, Paro's army. When the Israel saw Paro's choice, they were terrified. But God told Moses to raise his staff toward the Red Sea. God sent a strong wind and part the sea. Yes, so Israel saw Paros. They were terrified. And God told to Moses that raise your staff. And the big one came. And part the red sea. A dry part appeared, and the Israel walked strange through the Red Sea. There was a wall of water on each side of them. They arrived safely on the other side. So. The dry part appeared. So they walked safely to the other side. And there were walls, two water walls. I really want to go there. Yeah, like it will be so amazing. And I think it will be also wonderful. And beautiful because like we can see f through the water the fishes and the crabs or those inside the sea right well you can see these those wow. I really want to be there <coughs> 
Haro and his army followed them into the Red Sea. God told Moses to stretch out his hand. Then he the sea rolled back again, and Paro and his army all drowned. So, also Paro's army followed them to the Red Sea, and God said, "Again, raise your staff to Moses." And Moses then. And now the Paros army all drooled. His army chased, chased the Israel and captured them in the Red Sea. No, they didn't catch the Israel at the Red Sea. God showed the miracle. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. I have. Wait. I know. I told the right. Answer to you, but like I chose wrong. God let His people show our wildness, wildness. He fed them and gave them water. They camped at Mount Sinai. Sinai. Where God told Moses to meet him on the mountain top, so that is Joshua and Caleb, I guess. No, 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 sorry. So they have came in the. They have camped. At Mount Sinia, Sinai, Sinia, yeah. and God told Moses to come to the mountain top. Surrounded by fire and smoke, Moses climbed to the top, and God came down to meet him. So there was smoke, and God came to meet Moses. Question: Where did God tell to tell? Meet them. Number one, the mountain Sinai, right? Wait, this not working. God gave Moses the Ten Commandments on two stone tables. Don't worship other gods. Don't make idols. Treat my name with respect. Treat the Sabbath day as a special day. <gasps> If I am Moses, I will be amazed because on the stone there. They're writing the
after the word words on the stone. I would be all like, like amazed with that. Respect your parents, don't mother. Be loyal to your husband and your wife. Don't steal, don't lie, don't even people or what they own. No, the people know how they obey God. Question the the Ten Commandments tell the Israel how to obey God. True. Yes. Oh, we had get the star. Yes, today I read the Bible story that I enjoyed, and next time I will read another story. And let's see you next time. Bye.